Hey guys, Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about sneakers, life, and tech. And in today's episode, we will be unboxing and putting on feet and doing a review of the new Nike Vapor Max Evo or Evo. So if you're a big fan of the Vapor Max, I think you will really want to see and watch this video. But before we get to that, I want to show you something. So this is actually a Samsung Smart Air Dresser. I will be doing a separate video on this one in a separate like episode, but I wanted to show you what's inside. So this shirt over here is coming out April 30 from Project 7 to 1, which is our merch brand. So this design is actually by a Filipino artist known as Jaya. So the theme is make your own luck. That's what this like uh, text up there means. And then that really nice graphic. The toy that you see here, that ox, hype ox person <laughs> with the horns and the shoes, is actually a limited edition toy that we're releasing as well on the same day. And if you take a look at the text over here, the icons mean peace, God bless, what's up, boom. So if you guys want to learn more on how you can cop this shirt, the link can be found down below. Also, since we're already here, I believe we have a few more Sneak Attack Project 7 to 1 hoodies available on our Lazada shop. I will also link it down below. Do you guys remember the Jordan 1 Hyper Royal that I unboxed that wasn't in my size, that some of you were complaining, why wasn't there any on-feed shots? Well, uh, the size 12 over here has finally arrived, so watch out for the on-feed review of this, probably in a separate video, because for today's video, I really want to focus on this. The Nike Vapor Max Evo. Let's go. Let's jump right into the unboxing. Now, as you guys can see, it comes in this rather colorful box, no? So you have orange, you have red, you have gray, you have white. I think these are like different boxes or elements of boxes uh, that Nike has used in the past. Now, if you take a look at the side, um, I did go size 12, true to size, but I would recommend for you guys who have maybe narrow or normal size feet, you might even want to consider going a half size down because this one is kind of roomy and long for a shoe. Now, shout out, by the way, to our good friends, Foot Soldier Manila for hooking me up with this pair. Three, two, one. Ba bam There we have it. Yo! This is it. The Nike Vapor Max Evo. Wow. That is one chunky Vapor Max. And this is one of the reasons why I decided to get this because usually Vapor Maxes, as you guys probably know by now, they're really uh, narrow and small and they're not built for people who have wider feet. The great thing about this Vapor Max, the Evo, it reminds me of the Vapor Max Plus, wherein if you take a look at the profile of the upper, it's a bit chunkier. So it's not small, it's not slim, it's not subtle. This one has a chunky heft to it and it has multiple layers for the upper. So if you take a look, you have some sort of mesh thing going here along the toe box with the swoosh. You have leather panels and overlays, some sort of like plastic shiny material for the swoosh. If you go to the midsole, this is where all the technology kicks in. Uh, you can actually see it spelled out. So this material, the foam they used over here, is supposed to help with the flexibility of the mid to the forefoot, which is good because if you walk like that, then it gives you more, uh, well, comfort. Now, if you take a look at the back, it is a little bit harder and it's actually spelled out, support, which gives you enough stability, especially for your heel and your ankle. And if you take a look at the actual air units, these are the air units which help with the overall comfort of the sneaker. Take a look at the back, some sort of teal Nike Air logo, and then of course you have this really nice pull tab. Now aesthetics wise, if you take a look at the overall style, obviously you have different colors, but they are complementary to one another, and you do have that pop of orange at the back of the heel, which gives it a little bit more oomph and personality. Now how does this sneaker feel on feet? Well, that's what we'll do right now. So let's put them on feed, then I'll get back to you guys how I feel about the shoe. Just like what I mentioned in the discussion of the features, it lives up to that. The forefoot and midfoot section is definitely flexible. It's not constricting at all. The upper material is actually quite breathable because of the mesh that they use for the forefoot section. Uh, the air units are fantastic. They're not, uh, how do they say, they, they do not protrude upwards anymore, which is my main complaint from previous Vapor Maxes. The only thing, the only major issue really with Vapor Maxes like this one, which the Nike has yet to solve, 
is the annoyingly loud squishy sound that you still get. I mean, if you walk in like marble or specific areas, squish, squish, talaga, it, it really makes noise, no? So it's not one of the most subtle shoes ever. It's like announcing you're wearing Vapor Maxes. But apart from that, man, it's a really good shoe. It's fun to wear. It's definitely different. And, and you know what? A lot of people say that Vapor Maxes are acquired based. And I definitely have to agree with that because not everybody can feel this air unit. When I say feel, that they don't vibe with it. They don't, you know, like it at all. It's, a, it's something that you love or you hate. Now, having said that, it's okay, but for people who like it and love it, at least now you have another Vapor Max to think about that's upgraded in terms of features for people who prefer chunkier sneakers. Now, the big question is, should you buy a Nike Vapor Max uh, Evo? Air Vapor Max Ev Evo. Evo. Ah, Evo. <laughs> uh, my opinion is that Vapor Maxes really go on sale. That's the reality. It's something that's almost 100% guarantee that most GR Vapor Maxes go all the way down to 50% because nga of the of the po how polarizing the shoe is, which is a good thing for Vapor Max fans. So if you love the Vapor Max, if you love the Vapor Max silhouette, and you like the Vapor Max Evo, my suggestion: magantay kayo. Tisin yung muna. Wait. Don't buy it now. Give it a few weeks, give it a few months, especially with the slower sales of shoes, maybe because of the pandemic. It won't take long before you see the shoe on the, sell, on the sale rack or on the sale section of the Nike website. And when it's 50% off, that's the time to strike. Because with the current price of almost 10,000 or a little over 10,000 pesos, thereabouts, it's just overpriced. I mean, for what you're getting, for the options that you can get everywhere else, I feel that it's too expensive. But if you can wait, buy it at 50% off, I think it's a great deal. By the way, this is one of the few sneakers that come with the manual. <laughs> because apparently, this sneaker is a combination of multiple sneakers that have used air units in the past. So maybe to celebrate the anniversary of the air technology of Nike. So if you take a look at the back, it actually has the sketch of what are the different elements of the shoe. So the Air Max probably 93 tongue, the tuned Max 99 cage, uh, Solas midsole tip, Vapor Max 2020 air unit, Max plus shank, and the 180 plus swoosh. So this isn't just any normal Vapor Max, it's a celebration of the air technology of Nike. Quick update, uh, I mentioned in a previous vlog that our Project 7 to 1 collaboration with Volve for the EBC Everyday Carry side bag is dropping April 30. So I just want to clear that up. The official date of the drop of this one is actually May 5. So May 5, we just hit some uh, issues with production, but this is dropping May 5 on our Lazada shop. So the link to our Lazada shop can be found down below as well. So yun lang, I just wanted to announce that. Also, you know what? I've realized that it's been a while since we last did the raffle. We last did the giveaway. So I am thinking of cooking up a really nice giveaway very, very soon. So make sure that you guys keep on watching. Make sure that you're tuned in. Kasi meron tayong pasabog na raffle. Malapit na malapit na. Inayos ko lang. I'm working on it. I want it to be really kick-ass and super special. For all of you and with that said that actually wraps up this very quick vlog for today i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you're all safe uh please remember to those who got vaccinated one shot will not like make you safe okay you need like the two shots so so to those who got vaccinated antay pa kayo for the second shot and and to, even if you do get the two shots i think it still pays to to be careful lalong lalo na with everything happening around us but anyway that's actually it for today's vlog this is carlo peace god bless what's up boom In today's Carlo Cooks, we are cooking tada my favorite chicken wings. I'm gonna panood na siguro to several times. So these are chicken wings that we got from uh, Healthy Options. Ang seasoning niya, we have this one, which is all-purpose seasoning din. Galing din sa kanila. Dito sponsor, da, binayara namin yan. And of course, we have a little bit of salt over here. And of course, we have pepper. So ang gagawin lang natin, we will put this in the air fryer. So, meron ako air fry over here from Samsung. Lagay lang natin yan dyan. Siguro around mga I guess around 15 minutes ish. Depending kung ano man i-recommend ng machine na yan. Tapos yun na. Lunch. Of course, we'll do some mixed vegetables and ating favorite. Ito luto na. Red quinoa. Panalo to guys. Kung naghanap kayo alternative to rice. Really nice. Sarap na lasa. Oh, yan lang. O, lalagay lang natin dyan. Pasok natin dito. You know, 
Pagkatapos nun, auto. Eat yung chicken eh. Yon. Start! So, while the chicken is cooking, uh, i-saute lang natin tong or basta in butter siguro, corn and carrots. So, drainin ko na siya para wala na masyadong water. So, yun yung pan. Let's go! So, guys, this is our finished product. We have uh, chicken wings with corn and carrots. O, oh, diba? Panalo! Wiener! Boom!